All right, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Derek, and on today's episode of Gemini Mood Swings, we will be discussing the topic of cheating. Cheating is a major issue in today's day society, in today's marriage. Everyone is getting divorced, everyone is breaking up. You guys, comment below why you guys think everyone is cheating, or do you guys think cheating is okay? Hey, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Well, let's just jump into this first one, which is freaking crazy. Basically, this guy does not trust his girlfriend at all. She, I don't think she's cheated yet. I'm not sure. When she's going to Atlanta for some reason regarding her aunt's health or something like that, when she clearly looks like she's about to go do something else, he caught her with messages, he caught her with other things, and he just does not trust her. And her excuse is, we've been together for one year and you still don't trust me. Like, that is probably the worst excuse I've ever heard in my life. Say, if you don't trust me, just say No, I don't trust you. No. Why? One year relationship Why? You don't trust me? Because you're going to Atlanta on some last minute talking about your auntie. It don't make no well, sense to me. me this this ain't adding up. Two Maybe plus two ain't what, equal to four. Social media is doing to you. That's what. That's all. Social, social media. media. Social media. It's common sense too, because you got your red bottoms in there. You said you might don't do a video to, shoot, try, but you're try. going down there to see your aunt, and then now you might do a video shoot. I'm just saying, they, a photo shoot might come up. All right, man. Know, when he said photo shoot or something, guys, I have no idea what she's doing behind the scenes. If it's what I think it is, then he's 100% right. She is really trying to manipulate this guy, man. This is sad. She's saying, it's social media. It's social media. I'm going to see my auntie. I might do a video shoot. Which one is it? You guys, people like this, you need to stay away from. This guy's issue is he started going back and forth. When he see, he clearly doesn't trust her. So he sees what she's doing. He needs to just take this information and adjust. Like, stop taking her serious. Talk to other people. Instead of just going back for her. Because she clearly has lost already. Belongs right to the streets. I just hope it's not that kind of photo shoot. If it is, oh my god. Hey, just, just go. Yeah, you, 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 you for the, go, go. You for the streets. Just get out. Go. I'm not stupid. Boy. I'm not stupid. And don't come back. Yes, I'm nope. Back. Nope. You're going to get out. Yep. Peace. I'm peace. Think I'm boo boo the fool. I must got boo boo the fool written on my forehead. And now in this next clip, it's the one I was talking about in the thumbnail and in the title, which is so sad. Like I, this is the worst clip I've ever seen in my life regarding cheating. This man comes back from the military, from the army to come home to his wife. He is, I, I think disabled. I don't know, maybe he has, something happened to him while he was out there. He opens the door with his family around him to see the reaction when he, when he sees his wife. And it turns out she was literally in, in the act of cheating with another guy. And he immediately broke down. He just falls off the wheelchair and he starts crying. Like I said, one of the worst and saddest clips I've ever seen with regarding someone cheating. The guy she was cheating with jumps out the window and I guess this guy's family starts cursing out this woman saying, how could you do this to my son? Just please watch. It blew my mind. I just did a two year tour in Afghanistan. How you feeling, bud? Glad to be home, man. It was long and rough. Just yeah. want to see my wife. We're happy. Yeah. Yeah. Sure the I don't want to say anything, but look how happy he is. He's like, I just want to see my wife. He just wants to get home. And then he just has to open the door to this. What the go, 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 hell go, 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 are you doing? Go, go. You hurt my son like that? See, you guys, I want to thank this man for his service, but his first mistake is getting a wife and going away for two years. Do you really think this man's wife was going to stay by his side for two years while he go fight for this country? No. Women get bored. Women crave attention. That's why they love social media. That's why they want to get out of their lights. That's why they love thirst traps. They love attention. You guys, this man was gone for two years. Probably couldn't even talk to his wife. What was she going to do? He probably married this lady just to get these benefits. Because in the middle of the if you marry, you get more money. He married her just for more money. But now look at this. He probably been divorced her and she's going to take half of it anyway. Doesn't make sense. I, I don't even Get know the him. Fuck up out of here. Nobody wants you here. Go. No, no, just go. You already got your boy out the window. You might as well just go ahead and go. I don't don't want him. you here. You done ruined our family, you oh tramp. My God. Oh my God. Now, this next one broke my heart a lot because this girl. She keeps saying she don't know him, like. It doesn't matter, like, come on, like, that's it, like. 
I was gonna get married to this woman in two weeks, guys. Two weeks. I guess he was going over her drawers and stuff, and he saw something sticking out, and you guys can pretty much see it in the picture. And I guess it doesn't belong to him, and he knows that. And when he started to question her about it on the phone, she doesn't give him a real answer, and she looks like she's trying to avoid the entire thing. She starts saying, why are you home this early? Why are you here? He's like, all right, this guy who's never going to say this broke his heart. Why? It should have made you happy that this man didn't go down this terrible uh terrible lane of this with this teen wife like you silly saying this broke your heart you should be happy that this man found this out before he got married well i live here like what the hell we were about to get married in two weeks i'm just happy he found it before they actually got married because this girl is mad and faithful and i hope he finds someone better for himself come home two days early to this bro all in the drawer we get married in two we supposed to get married in two weeks Go there everywhere though babe where you at you at home? Where, where, I'm, I'm at home right now, bro. Bro, what's this in your drawer? Where are you at home? What's, what's, this, in, what's this in your drawer? What's in my drawer? Bro, quit playing me like you. Bro, I'm not stupid, bro. What's up? What, what, what are we doing? Why are you popping up today early? Like, why are you home? Bro, what you mean popping up? I live here, bro. We get married in two weeks. What you mean popping up? It don't matter when I'm supposed to get off, bro. I'm. Oh my god, bro. You, bro. You, I'm about to go crazy. I'm really about to go crazy right now, bro. Where you at? You now this next one is so blurry and i apologize for it but i wanted to still put it in the list because i really feel bad for this guy basically i think he's in college he, his girlfriend's trying to break up with him or he caught her cheating or something like that and he's basically confronting her about it and she's not giving him a legit answer he was literally about to cry like it looks like he's literally crying in the video and his friends are all surrounding him trying to support him as much as possible at the end the girl decides to walk off and not answer any of his questions and he decides to chase after her until his friends decide to hold him back and hug him act like you ain't gonna do shit and you saying that you won't work shit out and see one of the reasons i think this guy is so upset because he probably has so much invested he probably cashed out on this girl really liked this girl see that's the issue with, with these guys see why would we pay for something that someone else would get for free he probably paid so much for this girl and then she went out smashing three days in a row like come on like that's why you never pay for something that the next man is getting for free what? Are you not gonna go out? And you go out fucking three days in a row? I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Stop. No, Zay, no, Zay, no. Zay, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Zay, I need to say something. When his friends decided to hug him, yo, I, I almost cried because that's that's a real as hell friend right there. And all friends should report their friends like that. And they were basically telling her, yo, forget her, forget her. She belongs to the streets. And I 100% agree with that. I mean, I, I generally feel bad for this guy. He seems like an awesome dude. No, no, no. Please, I need to get shit off no, my chest. No. Please, just no. let me go. Oh, no. Just let me go. Please, no. And now for this one, guys, I am not sure how real this is, but it was so funny in my opinion. Basically, this girl caught her husband cheating or boyfriend cheating, and I, I guess he immediately broke down and started hugging her almost immediately. He just dropped to his knees and said, I'm sorry, what happened again? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And she just looked at him and she was like, it's okay. I, I forgive you. And I don't know if she's serious. I don't know if she's going to do something later to him. I don't know if she's going to get back at him. But look, she forgave him, which is very, very odd. All right, now for this last clip, guys, it is it is one of the craziest ones because I guess this girlfriend caught her boyfriend using a grinder account. If you guys know what a grinder account is, it's basically a Tinder account except for people who are gay. Now, when she opens the door and you guys hear this man's voice, I mean, I'm surprised she didn't realize he was gay. I mean, he's just giving obvious signs that he was, and then she he's making horrible, horrible excuses. I'm like, yo, how is she falling for this? And then a part of me thought this was acting, but I still really wanted to include this because I've never saw a gay person cheat on someone before so i i just wanted to have it on my list so we could spice things up i found out that my boyfriend has a grinder account and i'm pretty sure i hear a guy in our house right now who the hell is that who the hell is that i saw that you have a grinder account and who is this this is my cousin babe this uh cousin. cousin since when you've never brought any cousins or family over in years so who is this are you filming this yeah i'm filming this because i'm sick of this i knew something was up and you've been acting really weird and been gone all day oh this is literally my cousin this is not your cousin yes you are. i've never seen you in my life 
This isn't no, a, this is not okay, no. and I'm going to expose you. This is sick. You're going to expose Yeah, me. I'm going to expose you. You're cheating on me, not only cheating on me, this with a guy. Cousin. You can at least tell me. I'm you can cousin. at least tell me that you're feeling some type of way. I wouldn't judge you. Were you going through I really don't condone cheating. I honestly condone making deals. You guys, if you're going to want to cheat, make sure you get a girl who allows you to cheat or who wants to cheat with you. Hey, the more the merrier. And ladies... I'm not sure about too many guys who actually want to share the lady. So good luck to you. I hope you guys find someone who's willing to share you and hope you guys be happy. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. It's your boy Derek. Hey!